Everything's falling apart I'm dancing The sun is sitting in the air Welcome back, friends, to a freezing day on the homestead. It's so cold I had to break out the Filson Cruiser. You know it's cold when it comes to that. So we may be sawmilling today, or we may not. It's all going to depend on the turning of this key right now. Are you ready? Please say a silent prayer. All right, friends, it looks like we are sawmilling today. I'm not shutting that thing off until we're done. That's what happens when I shut it off, it won't restart. Let it sit for 24 hours, it starts again. Who knows? All right, let's do a quick recap where we're at, and then we are gonna get to work. We're gonna get that bench cut today, Lord willing. My goodness, it's cold today. This is like Minnesota cold. <laughs> Speaking of Minnesota, so we rode up at Mount Fuji uh, on our snow bikes uh, with some friends that were up there with sleds. And it was so fun because we had uh, two folks that came out uh, from Minnesota that were big time sledders, but they'd never ridden, ridden in the mountains before. They've only ridden just the trails and uh, what they say irrigation ditches was the steepest things they've ever been on. It was uh, absolute hilarious to have those guys out there. They just were godsmacked by the scale of everything and being able to climb. It was, it was, we had such a good time. I just never met ba a bad person from Minnesota. I just love my Minnesota friends. I'm actually, I'm gonna go out and limb here. I'm gonna give my Minnesota friends official West Coast status along with my Vermont friends. So that's two of you right there. So keep up, keep it up, and maybe you could even make it. So <laughs> let's see where we're at here uh, with our big timber. All right, friends, where were we? Okay, so we're gonna be cutting the biggest timber I've ever cut today, a full 10 by 12 for our outdoor workbench. And so what we need is we need a 12 inches across the top here. So I've surfaced this uh, last time, and we can see our barks here and here and we wanna measure what we have there. So we only have seven inches. So I'm gonna drop this down one more time, about three quarters of an inch. We'll surface it one more time. And as soon as we can get that 12 inches at the narrowest spot, we'll be good. And we can start uh, cutting everything out. We'll go three quarter. You know, let's try half. I, I always get too greedy. I think half will probably do it. I gotta move fast to keep warm. Started my diet today. Man, I got, I've, I put on too much weight from COVID. I gotta lose about 15 pounds. So for me, I can lose weight like, just like this, but I just have to commit, I just go hardcore. When I was, hunt, when I was hunting with my granddad, he was the same way when we were in the bottom of a canyon. I was always about just getting the pain over with quickly as possible, not, not uh, stringing it out, right? So when I came up, I came straight up. Some guys that zigzag, not me, man. I just came straight up and just got it over with. <laughs> so if you wanna lose weight, it's simple. All you gotta do is you gotta get a little exercise, a little cardio, which is, could be walking, cut out sugar and white flour, and any fast food. That's basically, the, that's really all you need to know. You might as well get a board out of this here, right? We got what we got there. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's five quarter right there. To do that, we'll set our works over here at eight inches. And now that's our stop. We go over here, that will be our outside cut. So I don't like to cut that much at a time, so I'll make two passes here, so we'll split that up into half, so we'll cut four and four. That's a nice chunk of five quarter. This is all just bark here. There's the top of our bench. Oh, 
that's looking pretty good. There's a few knots in there, but they look pretty tight. So our our uh, bench can only be, or our next, cut, you know, our cut can only be as wide as the narrowest spot. So if we measure inside the bark, you know, we've got more than we need right there. We've got one foot three inches. That's uh, 13, 14, 15 inches. So we could do, we could actually, we can make our bench bigger. We might as well. We could make it a full 16. If we take one more cut, we could make it a full 16. We could do a 10 by 16, and that'd be a pretty nice size, I think. Now we're looking at the top of our bench. So we might as well take advantage of the whole thing, the width here. So that's 18 inches. I think the Lucas would cut the full 10 inches, but it puts some undue strain on it. So we'll break it up into two lifts. We'll cut five and five. Just make it a little, <clears throat> make it a little bit easier on the saw. Whoa, just <laughs> me. I locked it. Careful. There it is guys, we did it, <laughs> a 16 by 10. I went ahead and, and cut it at 16. I thought uh, that's kind of nice, that's a real common measurement, you know, so you can use the bench for, you know, getting, doing basic arith arithmetic and such. Uh, we ended up with um, uh, n just under nine, nine feet, so that's eight foot 11, and we'll have to true up the edges, of course, but goodness, that's a, 
that's a block of, uh, that is a block of fur right there. So put your best guess in the comments how much you think this will weigh. I know I've got some engineer friends that could probably do the math for us, uh, but it's heavy. <laughs> it's definitely heavy. This is going to make a wonderful workbench. So, well, uh, this will be a multiple part series because it'll be quite a bit of work that's going to go into this. But we'll um, we'll drill a whole network of the the one inch holes uh, for the dowling system. Uh, we'll do them. We'll do we'll do a full wrap. We'll do them on the sides as well. Uh, we'll have to come up with a clever. Uh, non-mechanical clamping system because this is going to be outside so we don't want to put a vise out here where it's going to get rusty and ruined uh, but I have some ideas I've been thinking on some things uh, but we're gonna have to put some pretty substantial legs on this um, and I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that maybe just like the bench but with some uh, bigger timbers question is do we do three legs or four legs Three legs is kind of nice sometimes because uh, you don't have to level it. it. You know, it doesn't wobble on you if you have an uneven ground like outside. But with this much weight, if you're going to be working on it, having that one end is going to be a little bit tippy. So I think we'll probably do four legs. Um, I'll just have to figure out how we're going to do that. It's going to have to be strong uh, to support this. But uh, thanks for bearing with me. Sorry it took so long. Had some problems with that uh, with that mill not running on us when we needed it but uh ran great today i think what it, I, th I think what it is uh i've been kind of talking back and forth with my friend ken as well as uh, the folks at lucas i think it's that aftermarket that aftermarket fuel pump i put on uh instead of a factory one so i've got a factory one here uh and i was going to put that on today if it gave me any more trouble uh but um so far so good so i'll uh i'll just keep running it if it acts up again we'll throw that new fuel pump on it and i th i think that probably take care of it didn't save any money did we by buying the cheap aftermarket part you think i'd learn by now but uh you know those are tempting you know it's tempting when stuff's half price and more times than not you always end up regretting it so thanks for watching may god bless you and your families please keep us in your prayers and we'll see you all on the next video